Hello, welcome to The Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. Today is Saturday, April the 9th, and today we celebrate the life and ministry of Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Dietrich Bonhoeffer was born February 4 of 1906. He studied at the universities of Berlin and Tübingen. His doctoral thesis was published in 1930 as Sanctorum Communio. From the first days of the Nazi ascension to power in 1933, Bonhoeffer was involved in protests against the regime. From 1933 to 1935, he was the pastor of two small congregations in London, but nonetheless was a leading spokesman for the Confessing Church the center of Protestant resistance to the Nazis. In 1935, Bonhoeffer was appointed to organize and head a new seminary for the Confessing Church at Finkenwald. He described the community in life together and later wrote The Cost of Discipleship. Bonhoeffer became increasingly involved in the political struggle after 1939. When he was introduced to the group seeking Hitler's overthrow, Bonhoeffer considered refuge in the United States, but he returned to Germany, where he was able to continue his resistance. In May 1942, he flew to Sweden to meet Bishop Bell and convey through him to the British government proposals for a negotiated peace. The offer was rejected by the Allies, who insisted upon unconditional surrender. Bonhoeffer was arrested April 5, 1943, and imprisoned in Berlin. After an attempt on Hitler's life failed, April 9, 1944, documents were discovered linking Bonhoeffer to the conspiracy, and he was taken to Buchenwald concentration camp and then to Schoenberg prison. On Sunday, April 8, 1945, just as he concluded a service in a school building in Schoenberg, two men came in with the chilling summons. Prisoner Bonhoeffer, come with us. He said to another prisoner, this is the end for me, the beginning of life. And Bonhoeffer was hanged the next day, April 9th, at Flossenburg prison. There is in Bonhoeffer's life a remarkable unity of faith, prayer, writing, and action. The pacifist theologian came to accept the guilt of plotting the death of Hitler, Hitler because he was convinced that not to do so would be a greater evil. Discipleship was to be had only at a great cost. Let us pray. O oh, gracious God, the beyond in the midst of our life, you gave grace to your servant Dietrich to know and to teach the truth as it is in Jesus Christ, and to hear the cost of following him. Grant that we, strengthened by his teaching and example, may receive your word and embrace its call with undivided hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.